just received in the mail the NECA Halloween Ends Ultimate Michael Myers. This figure right here is looking amazing and menacing. I'm loving the detail in his face and everything about it. That knife that he has is just amazing. So make sure you guys stick around in this episode of The Collector's Review as we get up close and get in detail with the Halloween Ends Ultimate Michael Myers. Let's get to it. Loving how the cover looks on this one. And like I said, the figure just looking at it looks very detailed. Even though I wasn't a biggest fan of the Halloween Ends movie. I don't know if you guys really were. But shoot it down in the comments if you guys like how it ended and like the movie in general. But this figure is looking amazing right now. Love the box all around. Sticking with the Michael Myers' face on the cover. So let's get to getting him out the package. Looking at him up close. Loving how he looks. Let's get him out. Got him all out the package. And I am loving the detail on him. All around this figure is looking very amazing. Stick around to the end. I'll show you this figure up next to the Halloween Kills version. And this figure right now standing up is... So seven and a half inches tall, just a little bit above seven and a half inches tall. Loving how he looks, the detail on the the jacket and everything, not the jacket though, one piece. But the mask is looking lovely and I'm actually loving the extra mask that he came with. That's looking real slick, we'll get up to that in a second. Then the fingers, you got the hand that's cut. Wondering how the articulation is going to be on this one. But loving his look all around. The dirt on the cuff of the pants. Just the detail on this figure is real nice. I'm loving how he looks. And to look at articulation real quick. I didn't heat him up. So head down. Head up. Moves around real nice. You can still see his neck. And his neck looks real nice. Arms out. Well, head to the side, side. So his head moves around amazing, arms out. And again, haven't had any issue with any of the uh, pieces breaking or anything. Knock on some wood, can touch his face, answer a phone call. But elbows bending, again, another figure that no pain is dropping. I've had a lot of issues with NECA, legs forward in the past. Some of the toys just break and other leg I just did the box unboxing for the thing action figure and man was that just a difficult figure to put together but this figure is looking amazing feels amazing all around man I love the texture on his his uh, overalls I love how you got the dirt the blood it's, it's just so extra I love how the look is comparing it to the movie the slash on the arm let's stand them up real quick and look at the accessories let me use some of these stands that I got I got some Halloween stands here Have them standing with the accessories right there so I got the beautiful stand the Halloween kills then I have a different version of the mask so make sure you guys look for these on ebay and our website soon enough but loving this let's look at the pumpkin loving the look of the pumpkin detailed does not light up or anything like that but still looks nice and even on the inside you can't see it but it looks like the inside of a pumpkin so that is real nice love the look of that top does not pop off at least I don't think so. Then the other head that it comes with. Love the look of this one. It's more burnt. It looks almost just like the other one. But actually this one's more burnt. This one's more burnt. And uh, the detail on the cut on the cheek to me is uh, a lot better and more detailed than the other cut. 
the uh, love the more burnt look on the mask but both of these heads by far are like some of my favorite heads with the burnt mask I think the detail on it is amazing the hands are looking amazing themselves also so it comes with three hands and all three hands the detail on the hands the look of the hands the cut fingers I think is just amazing detail on Neca's part uh, I, I really think they knocked it out the park with this action figure um, and then the one thing that I definitely did see I'm gonna just skip to this one right here this knife right here I love the rust look I love the dirt look everything about this knife right here I think this is like my favorite knife that they've done they've done a lot of knives um, but I think this is like my favorite knife that they have done it comes with three knives all together and this is the clean one the regular clean one then you have the bloody version with the blood coming down on both sides which it looks amazing I do love that look but the, just this dirty version yeah, yeah the dirty version the, I love the look of it and let's see how it looks with him holding it him, him, him holding it in his hand looks amazing I just love that look all around and I think they just knocked that one with the detail uh, of this one out the park, man. So this NECA, to me, I really like a lot compared to the other ones that they have released. This is probably my, by far my favorite one that they have done. Tell me which one is your guys' favorite one, which Halloween action figure have, that they have come out with. Let's look at him up next to the uh, Halloween Kills figure. And here we go. The left one is the fake, the right one is the real, nope, oh, sorry, that's a different video. This one is the kills, this one is the ends one, and as you can see, the head on this one, let's look up close at the head. So looking up close at the head, you can tell 100% that the left one, the Halloween kills one, the mask is a bigger, is wider than the... Halloween ends mask and I actually love this one better the uh, it's a little bit more skinnier Tell me what you guys think uh, the same thing with the the back of the head and everything Maybe now Maybe that's because the hair was burnt and brought down a little bit But the head just is a little bit smaller than this version and to me they really knocked it out the park with that I do love that now that is probably how it is accurate in the movie It might have been this big with this mask and they just redone it with this version but both of these figures look like they stand about the same. So let's take a measuring. It actually looks like the Kills one stands a little bit taller than this one. So yeah, and they're standing flat together. Let's try. And it looks like the Halloween Kills one is just a little bit bigger than the Halloween Ends one. So let's look at this and look at that. And yes, the Halloween Kills one is almost 8 inches tall, just a hair off of 8 inches. So they dropped it down on the Halloween Ends figure, and it seems like just made them a little bit more thinner. But I am loving this figure it is. Let's look at some close-ups. And in these close-ups, you can see the other mask. I love the other mask. And the, the two comparisons of the two, like I said, they are very detailed in this figure. So... So now after doing this video, I'm going to have to do an updated version of every Halloween action figure, ultimate action figure that NECA has come out with. So make sure you guys keep your eyes open for that. And if you didn't see it, check out the video at the end. I'm going to have it linked here. And like always, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. I'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers and then 100,000 after that, man. We're going to go hard and I'm going to keep on giving you guys videos. So until next time, this was another episode of The Collector's Review. We're out. Peace.